Hi, one hour smart home here, and today we're going to go over the options for Sonos remote controls. So that if you want to control your Sonos device without your phone, or you want to have permanently installed remote controls for your Sonos system, just like a light switch, so you can walk into a room and turn on or off your Sonos system, we're going to go over those options and we're going to show you how to install a Sonos remote control. So I'm going to show you what you can do with a Sonos remote control right now. So we've got our Sonos speaker set up and connected and I've got a remote control right here for Sonos. So I just go ahead and press the play button. And you can see that I can then jam out with my Sonos system. Now the Sonos remote control options will work with the full lineup of Sonos speakers. So right here I've got a Sonos One, but it'll work with the Sonos Amp, Sonos Beam, Sonos Arc, and all the other Sonos speakers out there. So what I used for a Sonos remote control today was the Lutron Cassetta system with what's called a Pico remote, which is this device here. Now there is another option for Sonos remote control, which is called the iPort Sonos remote control device. However, I lean more towards the Sonos remote control with the Lutron Pico system because I already have Lutron Cassetta lights and if you are going to add multiple Sonos remote controls, the Lutron Cassetta system can offer you a more affordable option if you've got three or four devices that you wanna have connected to a Sonos remote control. So how the Lutron Cassetta Sonos control works is that you've got this Lutron Cassetta home hub, and then you have what's called these Pico remote devices. And these Pico remote devices connect to the Lutron Cassetta hub and then allow you to control your Sonos system. Now, another advantage of the Lutron Cassetta hub is that it allows you to connect smart light switches like the Lutron Cassetta smart light switch so that you can control your lights with your voice and or from your phone. So we've got other videos on that. I recommend you check out the Lutron Cassetta system and we'll include links to that below as well as in the video. Now, the Lutron Cassetta system does offer what's called Pico remotes, which are specifically set up for the Sonos system. However, even the lower cost Pico remotes that are designed to be used with the light switches will also work with the Sonos system. So I've got one that works just with the light switches here and it's at a lower cost than the custom Sonos remote ones. And all I did was take a label maker and put the labels on here for play and pause and next song. So with this remote control, it will play and pause with the top button. The bottom button is the next song or skip. And then the middle buttons are volume up or down. Now the center round button on the Sonos remote control is used to play your favorite songs or your favorite playlist in the Sonos app. So if you have a favorite playlist on the Sonos app, when you hit that middle button, it's going to default to that playlist. If you don't press that center button and you just press the play button at the top, what's going to happen is Sonos is going to play whatever current playlist you have available in the Sonos app that you were last playing for that device. Now, in a moment, we're going to go through the steps to set up a Sonos remote control with the Lutron Cassetta system and your Sonos device. However, I wanna take a moment to go over the other option for Sonos remote controls, which is the iPort remote control that works with Sonos. Now, the biggest difference between the iPort remote control and the Lutron Cassetta remote control is that the iPort remote control does not require a hub. The Lutron Cassetta system does require a hub in order for these remote controls to connect, whereas the iPort remote controls connect directly to your Wi-Fi system. Another difference with the iPort remote control versus the Lutron Cassetta system is that it does have a rechargeable battery and that rechargeable battery lasts about six to eight months and you just go ahead and charge it back up and you're ready to go with your system again. Now the Lutron Cassetta remote controls don't have a rechargeable battery. However, the batteries that are in the device, the Pico remote control for Sonos can last up to 10 years and they just use a standard watch type battery there that's very easy to replace when it goes out after 10 years. And I have not gone through any Lutron Cassetta remote control battery yet and I've had some of them for multiple years. Now, in my experience, both the Lutron Cassetta Sonos remote control and the iPort remote control have functioned really well with the Sonos system. The one disadvantage of that iPort remote control is that you have to recharge your battery and very rarely you 
can have some issues with connectivity because it does connect with your Wi-Fi network versus connecting to a hub. And sometimes there's issues there. It really just comes down to what cost you're willing to pay to outfit your home with Sonos remote controls because on a per unit basis, after you get the Lutron Cassetta system, Typically, the Lutron Cassetta Pico remotes are going to be less expensive to outfit your home with with Sonos remote control versus the iPort remote controls. Plus, you get the added functionality of being able to install smart light switches, which you can then control from your phone with the Lutron Cassetta system. So now let's show you how easy it is to set up a Sonos remote control with Lutron Cassetta. All right, now we're going to show you how to set up a Sonos remote control. So in order to do this, you're gonna need to have your Sonos speaker already set up and installed on the Sonos app and to be able to control it on the Sonos app. So we've already done that. Next, you're gonna need to have your Lutron Cassetta system set up with the Smart Bridge installed and connected to the Lutron app. So the Sonos app needs to be set up and the Lutron app needs to be set up. Once you've done that, you can add your Lutron Cassetta Pico remote as a Sonos remote. So we've got the Lutron Cassetta system open here and we are in the Lutron Cassetta app. All we're gonna do is go up here in the top and we're gonna click on settings. And what we're going to do is then add a device, which is this top option right here. So I go ahead and click add a device. Now we've got different options for devices that we want to add here and we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and what we're looking for is Sonos. So you see down here it says Sonos, the home surround sound system. That is what we wanna click on and that is the device that we're going to add. So we click on that and it will automatically discover our devices for our Sonos system if we have the Sonos app installed on our phone and connected in our home. So we have that. Now it shows you the different rooms that I have in my Sonos system and I can go ahead and just click back here and the Sonos has been connected to Lutron Cassetta. So now I can connect the Pico remote, which is this device over here, as a Sonos remote control. So I just go ahead and click back again and that's gonna take me to the main menu for the Sonos system. Now I'm back here in the main menu setting tabs for the Lutron Cassetta system. And what I'm gonna do is click add a device. Now we're going to add the Sonos remote control here. So I click down and you have two different options here. You have the option for a Pico remote or a Pico remote for audio. These are actually the same devices. They just have different labeling on the front. And here I just put my own labeling with a label maker on here but you can also buy the Lutron Cassetta Sonos remotes with labeling that has the audio labeling already on there with a play symbol instead of a light switch symbol. However, in order to set up a Pico remote so that you can control a Sonos device, you need to click Pico remote for audio. So I go ahead and click Pico remote for audio here. Now it says press and hold the bottom button for 10 seconds until the LED blinks quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold down that bottom button on the remote and it should connect. Now the Pico remote has connected to the Lutron Cassetta system and I just need to choose a name for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose office for this and just go ahead and click next up here. Now it gives me options for devices for this Pico remote to control. So I go ahead and click on Sonos room and then all my different rooms populate for the Sonos system. You just need to pick which Sonos device you wanna control with your Lutron Cassetta Pico remote that is now a Sonos remote control. So I'm gonna go ahead and click guest bedroom here and now I'm going to click next. Now I just click I'm done adding devices. Now the Pico remote has been added and is a Sonos remote control. So we've got our Sonos speaker over here and all I need to do is press play and it will start playing music from the Sonos speaker. And you can also adjust the volume down just by holding on this or you can adjust the volume up by holding on the other button. And then if we wanna to go to the next song, we can just press that next skip and it will go to the next song here. One thing I really like about using the Lutron Pico remotes as a Sonos remote control is that these can use standard Decora light switch plates. There's a little kit that you can buy that allows you to mount these in standard light switch plates as you can see here. So it looks like a built-in switch. 
You can even mount these where you don't have an existing junction box. You just install it on the wall, but it looks like it's a built-in switch, which is a really nice feature. So we're gonna include links to those below if you are interested in having that built-in look for your Sonos remote control. Now, you don't have to have it wall-mounted. You could just take this and put it wherever you want. If you want it on a bedside table or maybe you want it on a coffee table, you could absolutely do that for the Sonos remote control. So thank you for watching this video on how to set up a Sonos remote control and Sonos remote control options. We're gonna include links to these below so that if you wanna set up a Sonos remote control for your system, you can do so. Thank you for watching. Please give us that thumbs up. If you wanna support us, subscribe or click any of the links below or watch some of our other videos on smart home technology. Thank you for watching.